good morning children of class 4 i am mrs sitara your social science teacher and we are going to learn about the landforms what is a landform very good the places that we see on the surface of the earth is called landforms we have already learned it what is landform the places we see on the surface of earth is called as a landform and land is one of the five elements of nature the different elements are land water air fire and sky land is an important element and the physical features how the land is going to appear how the land appears based on that it is divided into different types and in our sangam age the land was divided on the basis of the work done by the people and they were what were they yes very good they were kurinji mullai marudam nedal and palai the area which rises above the surrounding land with peaks were called as yes very correct it is called as mountains the mountain and its surroundings are called as a kurinji land not only mountains you can find some places on the earth where you have a thick growing trees that area is called as forest a large area covered by trees is called as a forest the forest region is referred to as a mullai land another name for mullai land is yes very correct sembulam why it is called as sembulam because of the presence of red soil the soil is red in color there you have both mountains forest in on earth apart from that you have flat lands these flat lands are called as plains they are ideal for growing the crops the flat land on earth is called as a plain and the crop fields and their surrounding were known as a marudam the agricultural land and the area around it was called as marudam marudam land soil was formed of alluvial and red soil the soil type was of alluvial which was very good for growing the crops with this introduction let us move on to today's topic dear children what is that you see on the monitor now you can see a sunset and you can see waves coming to the seashore people walking and taking a bath in the sea yes children we are going to learn about the sea or the seashore and the nadal land have you been to a seashore or a beach have you tasted the air there yes it is salty correct so the salty water body is called as sea there is a large part of the surface of the earth that area in that salty water is there that area is called as a sea the salty water body that covers a large part of the surface of the earth is called sea what is called as sea it is salty water body it is a salty water body covering a large part of the surface of the earth now the sea and the area that is around the sea is called as nadal the sea and the area around the sea is called nadal n e i t h a l nadal n e i t h a l what is the sea children the salty water body that covers a large part of the surface of the earth is called as sea or kadal the sea and the area around the sea is called as nadal children now we will move on to the theme of the nadal land the god is the rain god or god of rain that is varunan what is the name of the god 
varunan what was a people it was called as paradavar paradavar meaning fisherman since it was seashore it they were people were fishermen the occupation was catching the fish or fishing the plant was punnai and the flower was sengandal the animal obviously it was fish and the bird was seagull who came to eat the fish the musical instrument was virali yaal i repeat children the god was varunan or which was a rain god the people were parandavar or fishermen the occupation was fishing the plant or flower was punnai and sengandal animal or bird was fish and seagull musical instrument was veelari yaal seeing the picture try to recollect the theme of the nadal region you can see the rain god varun in there the occupation is fishing and the flower is sengandal the animal is fish the flower is punne also then you can find the seagull which is the animal there you can find the seagull which is the bird in that area who came to eat the fish now we will see the people and their occupation there were so many people in and around the sea area the first one was called as serpen s e r p p a n serpen he was a seafood vendor and trader he used to sell seafood seafood means maybe fish prawns and all the products are from the sea then next one is the pulamban p u l a m b a n pulamban p u l a m b a n pulamban the pulamban thrived on coconut so it was seashore there were plenty of coconut trees and those who collected coconuts and sold them were called as pulamban who climbed on the coconut tree to fetch the coconut then there were people who went on a on protecting their their land who went on a war were called as sea warrior and they were called as paradavar they were called as paradavar the people who went on a war on the sea they were also merchants the people who thrived on the fish culture those who lived on the fish culture were called as nulayar they were called as nulayar n u l a i y a r nulayar were the people who lived on the fish culture or survived on the fish culture and the people who made salt from the sea sea water they dried the sea water and made salt were called as alavar so we have the serpen who was a seafood vendor pulamban who thrived on coconut paradavar who went on war sea warrior or merchant nulayar people who thrived on the fish culture and alavar who cultivated salt moving on to the soil of nadal land it was seashore and the soil was salty so the land of nadal land made up of saline soil or soil which has salt taste here you can find the marina beach what children marina beach m a r i n a marina marina beach is a natural urban beach in chennai our capital of our state it is the second longest beach in the world it is the longest beach in the world second longest beach in the world with the first longest beach in miami in florida america our beach marina beach is situated in the eastern side of india along the bay of bengal the beach runs from fort st george in the north to foreshore estate in the south the distance of the beach is 13 kilometers so children tell me which is the second longest beach in the world it is our marina beach can you name the longest beach in the world 
it is a miami beach in america at the place called florida what is the distance of the marina beach it is 13 kilometers now children we will see the dry land area of the sangam age it is called as a pali land this landform is actually not there but when the kurinji and the mullai landforms dried up then it was called as a pali land now it is very very dry and rainfall is very very less the land area becomes very sandy and it has got drought now what is the meaning of drought drought means very less rainfall or rain is never there in that area now we will see the book portion a dry region with less or without rainfall is called a dry land the sandy land which undergoes drought is called palai when kurinji and mullai dried up it is called palai so the difficult word in this is drought let me spell it out d r o u g h t drought d r o u g h t drought so the area in which there is no rainfall and the sand is very very dry and it is not we are not able to do any cultivation there such kind of area is called as a palai land how does a land become drought what is the meaning of drought drought means no rainfall at all or very very less rainfall how the palai is formed it was formed when the kurinji land and the mullai land got dried up without rainfall and the sand become very very loose then it is called as a palai land like other land forms palai land also has got its theme the god is kotravai or mother goddess goddess kotravai k o t t r a v a i kotravai the people are called as yenar etrier yenar etrier the occupation was cattle lifting lifting means theft to take away the cattle of other people where the occupation of these people they were thieves the plant was ulinai and palai ulinai and palai and flower was cactus and elupai flower was cactus and elupai the animal was tiger and elephant animal was tiger and elephant the bird was eagle the musical instrument was the palai yar i repeat children the god was kotravai or the mother goddess the people were yenir yatrier and the occupation was cattle lifting that is taking away of the others cattle the plant and flower were ulingai palai cactus and elupai animal or bird was tiger elephant and eagle the musical instrument was palai yar now dear children try to recollect the theme of the pali region from the picture there you can find kotravai the mother goddess which is a god of the pali land their occupation cattle lifting or taking away of the cattle the flower and the bird and the tree is given there it is cactus and elupai the tiger is a animal and eagle is a bird of that region now we move on to the people and their occupation in the pali region the people were called as maravar or the noble warriors and hunters they were maravar m a r a v a r maravar there were warriors also among them fighters or soldiers they were called yenar the warriors were called yenar and the hunter and very noble warrior great warriors were called as a maravar the soil the soil of pali region is sandy and saline 
Dear children, with this we come to the end of today's session. Small activity for you. You have to write the theme of Netherland and Pali land. And my dear children, with this we come to the end of today's lesson as well as the second chapter. Next week we will see the class work. By the time, get prepared for a home test. You will be having a home test coming up in the following week. So, learn the concepts, learn the themes, learn the regions, the spellings and be ready for a home test. Thank you children. Take care. Stay safe and be healthy. Bye.